All right, so let's get started. We'll go to Power Apps and we'll load up the login screen. We'll sign in and we'll take it immediately in here and let's go create a data source and let's go create a custom connector. Let's pull it in. We're gonna start from scratch, so let's create a new from blank. This one we're gonna call uh, BR uh, Reg Demo. And we'll see, we've created it lots of times. Yes. All right, what source do we have? So let's go and find that. I'm gonna find it at their website with searching for API. Find it here, the specific API, and then the documentation is a great example of how to connect to it further down. Come on, load in. And there's one right here. Look at this. All right, we'll pull this in. See if I pull it into a web browser here. Boom, results. All right, we're going to use this. We're going to put it in here. And so security, no thank you. This is public, so we'll do a definition. We'll create a new. Let's do this with name and name. We're going to search for that. Now we're going to import this from the get example. Boom, and we're going to make this one mandatory, All right? And then we'll move on to the response, which is just this load of information in here. But if I put it into body, it formats everything perfectly. All right, so let's test it. I have to create it first. And this is where it creates the connector, spins up all the web services inside of Azure, and it goes really fast. And this is a connector I can use in Power Apps, Power BI, and in any other connector uh, through Power Automate. If I want to automate something, I can pull on this connector and get this information. Now, I have to test this. So to do that, I have to create a new connection. I'll do that here, BR Reg Demo, and we have it in here. Let's go to my custom connectors, BR Reg Demo. Let's edit it, and let's just see if it works first. Edit and test, and let's go Microsoft. Perfect. And yes, perfect. It works. Now, back to uh, the Power App. Let's create an app, uh, a new app from Canvas App. And oh, it goes into Design Studio first. Um, I need a phone layout. And three, two, one. And so let's put some things on here. Let's start with a text input. I hate when it does that because it's just going to be a hint that here's where the name goes, right? And then we have to have a search icon. We're going to put that in and we're going to use the search icon, of course, put that up here. And then we have to pull in our connector, uh, which is underneath the connectors here. Let's do uh, be our right demo, which was the one who created. Boom, like that. And then we're going to clap data from it. So clear collect because we don't want it to just aggregate. So we have to clear the collection first and we're going to do uh, BREG results and we're going to put that in from our BREG name class and then the name has to be the text input uh, text input which is this box right here and we'll do the text from that. Perfect. All right. So when I when I test this now and I put, for instance, in uh, Microsoft in here. I'll do that, and it pulls in. If I now go in and look, yeah, that's fine. I know. And um, if I go in and look in my collections, I now have an, an oh, I need to get the embedded and and in it. Oh, that's that's what I need. So I'll I'll do that as well. I'll put that in here behind this because I don't all all these other gibberish. I just want the companies like so. Pull it in again. Let's have a look collections companies perfect all right so i want to display that i'll pull in a gallery and i'll collect that and connect that to my results i'll do a different layout and i'll edit the text form here to be the municipality of the company address and then just the name of the company and so i can pull that further down here pull it down perfect all right that fills the screen now from this button, I'm going to navigate to a new screen. So I'll do a blank screen. Um, and from this screen here, let's make sure that we do a navigation. So action, navigate, screen to perfect. That's it. Now, in here, let's get some, some more information. Uh, we'll do, we have to do a back button, right? So let's insert a cancel icon on top here so we can go back uh, and do a 
back navigation. Then we'll do a label on top, which will just fit like this. I like it when it's nice and thin, so we'll do a lighter one, but we'll do a larger font, and then we'll do a backfill, and then we'll put it in the middle, and we'll put uh, the name of the company that we've selected. So uh, gallery one, um, dot selected, dot noven, which is name in Norwegian, and perfect, look at that, pretty. Now, I'm gonna insert a map, so I'm gonna do media, I'm gonna do a map insert, I'm gonna pull in my beautiful map, and three, two, one, so. All right, so let's put that here. I don't want all of this navigation stuff. We can just untick those like so. And then what information do we want to have in here? We want to have the items. I need the items. Oh, there it was, items. Let's get that from the gallery as well. Gallery one dot selected dot the company address and let's do address and I want to pull in the value value here uh, it's it, I think it has to be in brackets doesn't it yeah look at that it helps me so much and it, everywhere you get this information look at that perfect <laughs> dead in the center of Oslo now let's get some more information in here let's put in uh, an address and uh, we'll just pull in the, the biggest company address so let's do um, um, company address and we'll put that underneath here and we'll do it a bit smaller like so let's also put down the, the font size and um, in this text button box here uh, we're going to have uh, the first of the, the addresses in uh, the results from the gallery um, And gallery one select. I'm, I'm going to use that a lot moving forward. So let's just put that in my clipboard. And uh, this is the company address dot address and the value in there. Look at that. That's the address that we're looking at. Now um, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy and paste this in here, and then I'm gonna have uh, put in two. I'm going to put in the zip code, which is post number, and then I'm going to do a concatenation with the uh, the city, like so. That's the, the the company address. Let's put that in bold, and then I'm just going to take this these three fields right here. I'm going to copy. And I'm going to paste them in, and I'm going to do a uh, post address, which is here, uh, postal address. And instead of doing this, it's just same format in the same structure, but it's a different, um, a different place. Let's do it here, post, boom, post, boom. And uh, we can get more information in here later, but I think this this is this is nice. Uh, so let's add it to our uh, our data sources. Let's pull in um, our, our 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 accounts. This is from the Dataverse, and boom! Now we got the data source in there as well. Let's add just add from um, the icons in here. Let's do an add icon, put it down here, and then we're gonna patch uh, a record in here and we're going to use the accounts we're going to create a new uh, new record with using the defaults comment there it just pulls in the schema of that then i could pull these curly brackets which is the data that we're going to pull in this is where we have to put in some information so we're just going to map fields to fields and uh, intellisense is going to help us so i'm going to do like account name that's going to map to gallery selected dot name boom and we're going to move down, let's do uh, the account uh, number. And I'm going to just do the same thing here, the organizational number. And the next one is address, address city. And that is the same, the business address dot, um, um, the, the posts there. And the next one, address one, uh, let's do the zip code. Zip, 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 code there. Uh, gallery selected, and uh, post number. 
Next one is, of course, the street, and we're going to do address one, uh, street one, first line, and we're going to pull in the first record of the selected gallery. We did this just a second ago, um, and we're going to do the value of that first record, because this is a table. Then we're going to have the country, uh, address one. Uh, country, yep, and that is the same for these other and uh, land, which is the Norwegian for country. And then up here, I'm I'm just going to add because I know address also has name. I saw that when I pulled down here, and then I'm just going to put uh, the name uh, in there as well. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it because we're going to do address two as well. And it's as simple, just pasting that in. Oh, we got a double. Uh, and we're just going to say two, 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 and two. And then in here, I'm going to do post address, uh, which is the other one in here, postal address, postal address, and postal address. And then while we're at it, let's get number of oh, intelligence, please. And let's it while we're at it, let's get the number of employees as well. Uh, so let's get number of employees. Let's do EMP number of employees. Same one here. Oh, we have too much gallery one dot selected dot. Uh, which is in Norwegian. All right, look at that. Perfect. We got a company. We got everything we need. Now, let's see if we can also make sure that we don't get duplicates. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to, uh, and we're going to make sure that we don't duplicate this. Um, so we're going to, what we're going to do, we're going to hide this if it's already in, um, in the, 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 the accounts table. And what we're going to do is we're just going to check if this is, if we return blank or error, if we try and look up a company in accounts, and we're going to do a check where our gallery one, the one that we selected, is uh, with the organizational number, which is the one that we're putting into account number, is in uh, the account number. Account number. And and we're going to pull out the account number here uh, just to be the one that we are validating is blank. So if we don't find anything, it's going to be removed. I think I already added this before. But now let's try out this application now. Let's go to the main screen. Um, did we add a back button? Did that work? Yes, of course. So now we can navigate. Let's see. Let's try and um, uh, find my, my very personal company. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Look at that. Not much information. Let's see if it pulls in. Yes, adds this. It's not much information. Don't have a postal address. Uh, let's do uh, our, my municipality here. That should have like, a, yep, put in. Plus. And what's cool is, is, is this actually works. So if I search for Microsoft, go like so, look at this. See, it doesn't pull out the, that button anymore. Um, let's do a, a one that already here. It doesn't find anything here. But now it's removed. So when I navigate now back and forth, if it's not in the registry, it's going to bring me that opportunity. If not, it's going to be out of here. Perfect. Oh, that's two different addresses. Perfect. I think this, this shows just how fast you can actually create an app uh, inside of, of Power Apps, create a connector, get that going in less than 15 minutes. Of course, you have to ramp up skills and you have to do this. Um, but I'm no developer. I've done this a couple of times and I, I know how to do this. But this is the effect of the Power Platform. This is how fast you can get to business value once you actually know the product. Once you get the skills in, this is something that you can create in under 15 minutes. It's amazing. The business value is just amazing. So go up, check out Power Apps at powerapps.com. Thank you so much.